My name is Melissa Tanner, TNT Paranormal out of DuPage County, Illinois. As a kid, uh, my great-grandparents would take us around and tell me ghost stories. I grew up in a small town in Missouri and they would tell us stories about from Civil War battles, ghosts that they had seen at different things, different urban legends. And then as I got older, I got more into the spook light and things like that near Joplin, Missouri. And then as I moved up here, there are a ton of teams like what we do and I decided to check them out. I checked out a team and then joined this team. So it wasn't like one thing. I didn't see one apparition. It was a con combination of things to get here. Well, I basically call myself a skeptical believer. So I believe that there is a possibility of the paranormal, but I'm skeptical of every claim we hear. So then I try to, we debunk things or we disprove things. So we try to look for rational reasons. If it's a true skeptic, I'm never going to be able to prove it to them. They're always going to think we doctored something, we modified things. But what we try to do is try to give with beyond a shadow of a doubt. When we're doing an investigation, we mic all of our investigators up so I can rule us all out. We control all the data so that no one has access to modify it. Um, and I think it's going to take a personal experience to get a true skeptic to believe that something is going on. Um, probably the 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 most uh, changing experience I had was we went to Ohio State Reformatory. If you've ever watched Shawshank Redemption, it's the, the prison where they filmed that movie. And, and it was me and Tracy, another team member, Annette, and we were going above the chapel. And another group had been there and they had claimed that they had seen an apparition of a head floating, a disembodied head. And I was like, oh, I'd like to go up and see that. Well, after we got done doing our EVP session, it felt like something came up behind me and put its hand on my back. And it wasn't pushing me like shove, it was guiding me out. It was telling me it was time to go. And as we started leaving, that feeling got more and more intense that it was time for us to get out of there. As we get to the bottom of the stairs, we actually have um, a picture of a black, it's, it's on video, of a black mass that went above one of the investigators heads and we actually have that on our website and it took about an hour for me to shake that feeling and all I can really describe it is is negative if you've ever been around somebody that's not a nice person that's what it felt like so you had three women in an all-male prison I think that's probably what we were experiencing is some person that wasn't nice and they just didn't want us in their space you know each person on our team has a different reason why they join and um, to kind of go to that, some people do it because they like the historical aspect of all the sites that we're able to go to. We do research all of our clients' homes, all the client businesses that we do. Probably 80% of our cases are client-based. So someone that has a haunting at their home, they believe, and they call us in to see if we can prove or disprove or collect data or help them figure out what's going on. Some of the other team, though, do it for personal reasons. They want to see, is there life after death? Is there um, maybe a loved one? For clients, it's the same way. Some of them believe it is a family member, and so they come to us to see if we can help them document that. Some of my team, though, do it because they want to help others. We have kind of people come to us that are scared out of their mind, and we have to help them try to come up with reasons why they're having things going on. We've had cases where we've been able to come up with rational reasons why they've had those experiences and it helps educate the people on what is and is not paranormal because there's so much misnomer out there now. Orbs get picked up on everything um, and, and there's rational reasons why those things happen. So some of our services are clients, so clients asking us to investigate their homes, investigate their paranormal claims. We do that free of charge. We do not charge clients for that service. Another service we offer is lectures. We teach people about the paranormal. We do that at libraries, park districts, historical societies, museums. Another service we offer is investigate with us events where we offer events where people can pay to come with us on an investigation to a historical location. And we have several events like that next year um, in Arlington Heights if that's something someone's interested in. We do not clear, we do not help cross over. If that is something you want done, we have friends and relatives and ministers that we work with and we would help get that person connected with that. We also only focus on the spirit world of paranormal. We do not do UFOs and cryptides. And we're on Facebook and Twitter, so if you search for TNT, Paranormal Investigators, you'll find us there. And then we also have a website, www.tntparanormal.com.